yeah hi friends this is Sajid Kumar from Chennai today we're going to see how to create front-end page in Magento 2 so for creating a front-end you have to create your custom modules and inside your modules you should create module.xml and registration.php this two file is used to register your modules and once your module is registered successfully then you have to create the routes and then you have to create the layouts a blog and PHTML and controllers and then as usual we have to run the magenta comments and finally we're going to check in the front end so have the github repository so from here I have mentioned all the steps so I have mentioned this uh, repo URL in the description session so first we have to create etc module.xml and register.php to register our modules so yeah so have created the learning path as a vendor name and create a front-end page as a module name so from here I have let's uh, close all the tabs so under etc I have mentioned module.xml and registration.php so for this two file is used to register your modules and then we have then we have to define the router.xml under etc slash frontend and you know in routes we have id and frontend name attributes the route id is used to create a layout files and frontend name is used to frontend navigations so first we will create the route file for etc the front name front we have to create the frontend folders we can't use route.xml inside the etc so if it's the frontend changes you should make it as frontend as a folder name if it's a backend changes you should create admin html as a folder name so right now we are doing in the frontend changes so I have created the frontend name inside that I have created the route.xml from here you can see the route id and front name is different so id is used to create the layout files and frontend name whatever name we have using is used for file path in the frontend and once the layout is ready so we have to create the layout files for creating the layout so as I mentioned earlier so we have doing in the frontend changes so we have to create the frontend folder name and inside that you have to define your layouts and have created the learning index index.xml so you know for defining this uh, file layout file names the learning is nothing but so whatever id the route id we have mentioned here right so the id id is learning that I have mentioned the routes the same should be comes in the learning and index is nothing but the controller folder name and the underscore and the one more index is the right it's nothing but the controller file names i'm just opening the controller so inside the controller i can see the controller folder name as index and the file name as index so same like have created here so inside the layout so i have defined the titles and have defined the blog file and phtml files you know for this phtml this blog is a uh, represented so first we have to create the blog files for creating the blog files just create the blog folders inside that you can create index folder name and inside that we can see the index.php so right now i'm just uh, defining just for uh, one function called get title so from there i'm just returning the allow world and we can get this information in the phtml so for creating the phtml files so right from here we have defined the index.phtml for creating the index.phtml file you have to create the template as a folder name inside the front end so i'm just click the index.phtml file so right now i didn't do any operations you know uh, we have using the phtml files so when the user uh, see in the on screen the look and feel and the complete html structures we're going to define in the phtml files so from here i'm just uh, getting a uh, get titles whatever we define in the block file so just uh, we have returning only the hello world if you check in the front end we can see only hello world in this page and once everything is done so we can create the controllers so you know so we whatever actions we want to perform right everything we can do it in the controllers so right now just for testing purpose just make it uh, uncommand it and yeah from here we can do all the actions so once everything seems to be fine we have to run the magenta command so already have run the 
deploy and set up static and a uh, catchy clear and if you check in the front end so for verifying the front end so just for already have mentioned right in a route.xml so we have two attributes one is for id so id we are used while creating the layout files and front end name we have to use in the front end urls so this is the base urls to two slash we have to make it as front end name so once we hit this so we can able to see the front end page so whatever we created and whatever uh, we have defined the phml file that could be reflected in the front end so let's wait it's still loading and you know so meanwhile i'm just uh, mentioning right the step by step and the uh, whatever coding I have shown you everything will be inside the bit bucket so if you want you can download this file and then you can do all the steps by your own so if you have any queries just uh, post in the comments so most probably i will be uh, online so i will reply to you so whatever queries you have so yeah the whatever the page titles that we have mentioned the layout file sorry and say the layout files we have mentioned the titles and yeah we have written the hello world so the hello world we have index.phml we have used the blog file in that uh, we have using the get title as a function name let's see in the blog file yeah we were returning the hello world the same content will be reflected in the front end yeah it's it's quite simple you know for you know so one more option will be there if you want to create only for controller it's too simple so no need to create anything inside the view folders just create the router and just define the controller controller folders and from here right you can do all your actions and once action is completed if you want to redirect all the actions you can perform here okay uh, uh, that's it so if you have any queries just uh, post it in the comments i will add this uh, repo link in the descriptions and yeah so hope uh, this video could helpful for you for creating the front end pages so we'll come up with a next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.